Happy Heroes 2.0 release day. There's going to be an announcement in a couple seconds. It's actually already played, but this is my first reaction to it because I had to take a shower first <laughs> before I recorded this. <laughs> so, uh, let's let's find out what the new content is together. But we still got quite a show to go. That's and right. We got some serious stuff up ahead. We had our we had our heroes dinner, as it were. Yeah. And now it's time for our heroes movie. That's because, right. as you've probably been waiting for, we have our Hanamura cinematic with hero reveal in it. And Kevin, I know you've actually been a large part of making this cinematic. So tell me a little bit about what this means to you and, and where it's coming from. For sure. It's such a privilege to be able to collaborate with a team like Story and Franchise Development at Blizzard and the Cinematics Animation Department. It's always a treat and a, and a joy. I mean, those who are fans of Blizzard know that we go all out on these cinematics. And I think as an individual who work, who's working on Heroes, these are huge touchstones, touch moments for us to really begin to peel back a little bit of a deeper story. Oh, God, that's that Ariel skin is so beautiful. This trailer in particular Fucking for me love it. is sort of the, uh, the foretelling of where we would like to go. We'd like to do a lot more in this space and in this world, the Nexus. So I'm really excited personally about this trailer for it being the beginning of much more of that. Yeah, and I'm, I want to ask you guys as game developers, you don't traditionally think of, of cinematics as being part of the development process, but I know it's something that Blizzard has become well known for. It's something that represents an investment of significant time and resources. So why is it so important to make cinematics like well, this? I mean, first off, because like they're Kevin amazing and beautiful and wonderful. For a long time, so I'm a little biased, but <laughs> I think the Blizzard cinematics team is probably yeah. the best in the industry. And so I'll probably take some flack from <laughs> some people <laughs> on saying that. But no, no I, I think, think it's true. Fantastic work. So any chance we have the to get motion. <laughs> Uh, highlights and new stuff that we have coming in the game, we will jump at that because it's just so beautiful. But it's also really cool for us because our game, we're constantly bringing new heroes into the game, new battlegrounds. It gives us a moment to like really generate that hype and, mm. and introduce these characters in a really cool way. Yeah, and I know that story building and, and world building are so important to you, Kent Eric. We're about to see it, but is there anything you want people to watch for or feel or just be ready for? It's it's exciting, that's all I'm going to say. We get so excited it's on the passion. design team and the development team that, as a whole, really, when we find out, oh, we're getting a cinematic for these two guys and whatnot. Like, oh, I can't wait to see it, right? So I'm excited for it to get unveiled. Well, well now, one more thing oh, sure. yeah, yeah. actually is, one other really cool thing about these cinematics is that you get to Spine see everything from a different perspective. And so one of the cool things is oh seeing God, the abilities from within the game right. play out in these cinematics. So while you're watching know. this one, take a look for some uh, interesting abilities. Captain Adab. definitely. <laughs> Well, Kevin? All right, no further ado, guys. This is the worldwide premiere of our next cinematic. This is Hanamura Showdown. Yay! Let's go. Crude humor, fantasy violence, mild blood. When I was young, I lived a life from Yes, 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 so beautiful, Hanamura is so pretty. Oh my god, pink everywhere, everywhere. And hurt those I cared for. I have learned many lessons oh. in my struggles. <gasps> doubt. Devils! And fear. Oh, they should have put him in the new skin, though. Balance and harmony are not easily attained. They must be fought for. Yes! <laughs> Genji, this is. Ooh, <laughs> Ragdoll Genji, hello. Yuji no Kyokure. Ooh, <gasps> shit, awesome, awesome. Predictable, but awesome. Oh, oh, oh! It's Diablo's claws. Oh. On my journey, I have learned another lesson. <gasps> you do not. Yes! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. I have no fucking clue what her kit will be. Oh, that's exciting. My hunch was right. Woohoo! Yeah. 
Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. You can see my nerves. Yes, 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 yes. Let's you go, Diva. Oh, how my hands got cut off, too. I'm Sorry, so guys. Divas are here uh, yay! I want you to tell me everything. Oh, everything about I know. There is so much blown. to say about Diva. I wish is she going to be inside the mech or outside the mech? Let's go. The entire no, tell me. For you right now, but they're not letting me. They have chained me. There's only so much I can say. She no! Cloakin, please! <laughs> She is going to be a warrior, so you will have her on okay, the Okay, she's going to be in the mech. Very soon, and there is so much more to say, but... But she will be happy, out of the mech, like too, though. Like Alan said before he took off, you might want to watch that trailer back a few times. You do get to see a little bit of what she's bringing to the table in the game uh, through that cinematic, but um, obviously more to come on D.Va. But I gotta say, just about the trailer in general, Ooh, I love baby. this piece so much, and here's a fun story. Uh, so Jason Hill, the director for this piece with the Cinematics team, would talk about the extended Cinematics Animation team when they're working on this piece. And they talked about how amazing it was to have a cyborg ninja, a demon, <laughs> and a mech pilot, right. like all in the same cinematic at the same time. I love it. This is the cool stuff that Heroes brings to the table. Yeah. When you bring all these iconic characters into the same place at once. That's pretty cool. I see Genji fight a demon, so cool. though. I don't know. Especially since he has an Oni skin. About superheroes, you know, supernatural people and beings, and watching them all together in one little courtyard is so satisfying as yeah. a nerd. It's like, yeah, take this guy and this guy and then put her in the middle. Oh, man. Yeah, and the Lord of Terror, you see almost every single ability in his kit in that trailer. Shadow Charge, Overpower, Lightning Breath. And, and yeah, the Lightning Breath looked the really cool. So I cool. thought the Lightning Breath looked cool. Yeah, you know, we have the hero of the that. hour is Hana Song. She obviously is coming from the Overwatch universe. She is an ex-pro gamer turned mech pilot. What She's is the couch resting on? In their it's under the rug. <laughs> the Tilt it. So, uh, much more to talk about with her, but obviously you have to stay tuned. Uh, I mean, obviously she was recruited as a pro StarCraft player. Yeah. My tracer said you're still in a box. I really need to fucking do something about that. Oh my goodness. So I won't just hound you and hound you and hound you. Hound him, Anna. Hound him. You can tell us about that. The Nexus challenge. Tell us about that. Okay. Nexus challenge. We'll find out about that too. If you were following the hero scene back at BlizzCon last year, we did our first Nexus challenge, an awesome event where we crossed over play in heroes to get rewards in both Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm. Well, we're bringing it back. This is Heroes 2.0. Take a look at this quick video, and we'll unpack it when it's all done. Nexus Challenge returns. Play with friends. Win epic loot, epic loot. We wander to turn. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, there's different weeks? Oh, cool. Wait, I already have the hover cycle, though, don't I? Yeah, because that was part of the... That's part of the Overwatch thing, okay. Ooh, that's cute. Oh my god. Give, 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 give. Officer Diva! Oh my fucking god, that's so fucking cute. That's not in Overwatch, right? Oh my god, the spray. Oh, I love it. Ooh, I like the Nexagon, too. Fuck! This is my biggest weakness, is stuff. And things to collect. Oh, you get loot boxes? Wait, but are they Overwatch loot boxes? That was confusing. Yeah. I like, like Overwatch ones, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Unpack the loot boxes. It's super cool. The phrase that we're using internally when we've been talking about this is sort of like a quest system. It's a four-week journey, starting with a quest each week. Now, in order to get to the sequential quest, to play with friends. The, come previous, the first week, all you have to do is play five Don't games have any friends. Any mode, and that's going to catch you up with all the rewards from the previous Nexus challenge. You have to you make friends. In Overwatch, as well as the icon and the spray, then in Heroes, you'll also get some rewards: the or, uh, Oni Genji portrait, the spray, oh, okay. the uh, Orochi hover cycle, and the added banner for um, Oni Genji, which is pretty great. Now, week two. This is when it gets a little more involved. You'll still play five games with a friend, but this time you'll be in quick match, unranked, or ranked. If you play those five games, you're going to get the Officer Diva skin in Overwatch. And then on the hero side, you're also going to get some really cool stuff, starting with 
the Busan police hover cycle there. Is she now, gonna have the, the police officer skin in here as though? Because it's so fucking you know cute. You'll get the player icon there, you see there, and the spray for the That's that's a raspberry art spray, spray for sure. Side, as well, sort of His style is starting to look more and more blizzard like though. The and the Overwatch mount, uh, it's so fucking cute. Mount, this is what we call those. It. Pretty cool. And then the final week, week four, is all about loot. You're gonna get ten loot chests what? in Overwatch, as well as ten loot chests in Heroes of the Storm. So like yeah, I he said say, loot chest both times, but it's loot crate in this, Overwatch, uh, I think. It's like say, for instance, you were a little bit slow getting involved. If it was week four and you missed week one, two, and three. You still can get all the rewards. You just have, you just to, have to grind through. through. Okay. To get to the week four That's rewards. good, though. That's really good. Exactly. Because it doesn't like or you can start block very, anyone very out. For sure. Good job, Blizzard. When can we start? Good transition, Anna. When can I start getting those rewards, Kevin? You're in luck, Anna. I've never felt so much power in my life. Is it today? Is it today? Yeah! <laughs> in North America starting the global rollout as well as the Nexus Challenge 2.0 so guys it is Christmas morning I guess we could say officially Wintervale 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 PC alert in Heroes of the Storm and again so much more including the mega bundles the veteran rewards look at that cheese board it's, Heroes loves to celebrate right we it's love funny. to get into things together so I'm kind of like I'm ready to just, there's a computer back there, I'm ready to go, but our job is to create awesome content and tell sure. the people what to watch. Well, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to hop on over to Twitch and start diving into this 2.0 content and see if I can get my five friend matches done today. I don't know, we'll see. But if you're interested, you can join me over at twitch.tv slash defebwar, D-E-F-E-B-W-A-R. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the Nexus.